Hello, this is Alex. Welcome back to the Crack Pack modded Minecraft. I had an accident with an arrow earlier and it hurts a little bit, but uh, yeah, see if we can work through the pain here. Put on the stuff and go back into this mode. Here we go. No, nope. ah, ah, so many buttons. Okay, I have uh, improved my gear a little bit. I put some feather falling on these boots and I put uh, unbreaking protection and aqua affinity on my goggles but I finally got um, I finally got some books I wanted the repair you need to put on the boots of the traveler as the very first thing if you want to enchant them uh, you can't put them on later for some reason so we're gonna put repair on them and we're gonna put I thought about just putting haste 2 and then put them in the dragon essence also up there. I don't know if that's gonna work, but I don't wanna chance it, so I'm gonna put haste three. We want that breaking and protection on them as well. And I want feather falling at some point. So, uh, no, that's not the right thing. 13, what about this? 12, okay, we can do that. Turn this on. The reason why I'm here in the dark, by the way, is because I put the skeleton spawner in there and it only works at night so I'm gonna have to build like a room around this so I can have other spawners in here um, the reason why I put the skeleton spawner in this room is so uh, I get more of the essence this mob essence because I don't need the mob essence for the skeletons to spawn so hopefully the system will run more smoothly but uh, we'll see but now it's becoming bright and that completely shuts down the skeleton spawn and that. So, also put down this. Don't know if you've noticed, it's very quiet here. If I pick it up, it will immediately get. See, now we can hear the, the monsters taking damage and spawning and all that. Oh, he's got a nice hat. <laughs> but so, as soon as I put down this sound muffler, everything around here becomes more quiet. It's very cool. Okay, so, oh, I opened this, okay, oh, 35, that's probably enough, <laughs> let's put this on, and this, repair, haste, and breaking protection, I want uh, the feather falling as well, but I don't think I have one, there's a, another haste 2 book, uh, but I've been trying to get it by doing something. I built one of these. It's an auto disenchanter where you enchant an item. And then you can take the enchant off the item and uh, get it on a book. So if we make a pair of boots, actually, let's go make a pair of boots. Uh, let's see here, just use iron. I got so much of it. Okay. I also moved the uh, auto enchanter down here, so it's just it's just sitting here enchanting stuff. So I just leave this in. I gotta go get the uh, the book now and then. But it's when the work gets filled up here, it enchants a book. So I get a lot of enchants that way. So I'm gonna get to level 30 and I'm gonna try and enchant these books. So that's 12. Might as well use these berries for something, right? So, it's very nice to have the machine pick them up for me all the time. I don't have to worry about it. There, 30. Uh, enchant the boots. Hopefully we get feather falling on them. Actually, I don't know if this is the case still, but it used to be level 26 was the best level to get feather falling. Um, come on, 26, yes. Unstable to... Well, whoop de doo That's no good. Well, we can take that off and put it in here. This is gonna go uh, to work as well. And when this reaches this top, it takes off the enchant, puts it in a book, and then I can ch enchant the stuff again. So I'm gonna wait for that to happen, and I'll bring it right back. And there we go. So we got the unstable enchant, and we can enchant the boots again. Come on, feather falling. Thorns one. Great. Okay, yeah, I've been doing this for a while, but you don't always get what you want. So I should be able to 
uh, use these now. But first of all, I actually want to throw them in here. I only got two left in there. Hmm. Okay, so put those on there. Go get some more dragon essence and see if it will bump up the uh, the repair enchant. That would be very cool if that happened. We've got 32 over here. Okay, come on. There you go. 34. Do your stuff. Are you not going to do your stuff? Maybe not. Oh well, we'll give it a little time. Uh, see what else did I want? I've been exploring some more down in those uh, the mines down there, or the what's it called, the roguelike dungeon, <coughs> and uh, unstable. I don't even know what that does. Hmm. May have to look that up. This uh, power staff here, this one, Sundura staff, or oh, that places torches. It's so nice to have along. It, it holds like a thousand torches or something. It's very nice. How's this going? Almost ready. What about down here? This is what I do. I just run fo back and forth and and check on these things. Uh, protection 3. Okay. And it's going to make a new one now. So every time you put an item with enchants into this auto disenchanter and it removes one of the enchants, mm -hmm. it damages the durability of the item. So I wanted respiration for my uh, for my goggles here. Uh, and I finally got it. It's like the fourth time I enchanted the helmet. And uh, But this has got so many enchants and I don't know in which order it's going to take them. So this helmet may not survive for me to get the respiration. That would suck though. Okay. Oh, six, 26. Stop. That's enough. Uh, put these back there. Come on. Why 20? What the? What did I do wrong this time? Come on, 26. Dang it. These boots have been sitting here for a while and it's still at 34, so it's not gonna improve the uh, the repair thing there. That's a shame. But uh, these are much faster. Now I can run up one block, as you saw last time. We talked about these. This is so nice. I've really been wanting these boots for a while. Okay, so I'm gonna have to live with uh, the repair one. That means when, if the boots take damage, they'll repair themselves slowly over, the, over time, just as we have on the uh, on the tools here. Wow, I just got it. Look, Restoration 3, and look at how little uh, durability this has got left. So I don't know if it can take one of those off, but it will definitely break the item. So now I should be able to put that on here. 22, yeah, I'll just do that. These guys in here, they keep dropping these hearts, which I need for uh, to boost my maximum health. And I've got a lot of them now. See, I got six, and I'm I need five. If you look at my health down there, I got 25 hearts now. Uh, so I need five more, but I need five of the yellow ones to combine with the red. So to do that, we actually need to we need to kill some. Uh, what are they called? Some weather buses. So I'm gonna do that. I'm just gonna show you the short and sweet of it, and uh, that way we can continue with other stuff. Last time we put down this dimensional anchor over here by my digital miner, and it looks like it's working because there's more stuff in here now, even though I haven't been over here. Last time it needed 6,000 things to mine, so it's doing some work, which is good. Uh, I think I'm gonna try and fight one of these guys here. And I've brought, uh, what are they called? My MP5 instead of the AK. So let's see how that does. Uh, if all else fails, I'm gonna have to stab him with my sword. But uh, let's see how this does. Okay, come on. I'm not gonna show you all the fights. I just wanna see, show you one of them. Ow! It's not as effective as the AK, sure. but it works. Alright, there you go. Okay, go get the star. Yes. 
and more importantly in this case is the yellow heart. Did it drop the yellow heart? There it is. That's what we came for. That's it. I killed him five times, but look what he did to my beautiful landscape here. Tried to keep him over this hole, but not with a lot of success. I don't think he destroyed anything, really. He hit here a few times, probably some loose stone, and over here. Tried to pick it all up, but now I got this huge crater here. We've got to do something with this. Maybe extend it down? Hmm. Yeah. If I get some TNT and we put some TNT in the hole... Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. Let me go get some stuff. Oh, by the way, this is what I got from the fight uh, here. So, I don't know why he dropped these or what they're for. Uh, these sigils. You must perform the activation rituals. Extra utilities. I don't know. But I got five nether stars and five yellow hearts. So, it's time to get our health up to 30 hearts. Oh, yeah. Go home. Man, this is expensive. I just spent like, what is it, 25 diamonds and I don't know how much tin and just 40 blocks of gold to make these. But now we have five more of these. And I don't know how you get these. Maybe some of you can tell me how you get the bottom ones. Maybe they're not implemented yet, I don't know. Uh, but... Yeah, now I'm down to 30 gold, so that's no good. Maybe we're going to have to go find and capture one of those uh, gold dropping guys from the nether. What are they called? Subby pigmen. <laughs> okay, let's go over here. And we could just go here in the middle. Dig straight down. Going to go down to, all the way down to bedrock. See what we get. Okay, so I did hit lava on the way down here, but uh, I hope it's going to be okay. I'm going to place TNT all the way up. Hope I have enough. I don't think... Maybe. We'll see. It's a pretty tall mountain, this. And uh, I think I have a flint and steel in my bag. Oh, look at that. That's beautiful. Okay, here we go. Bam, go. <gasps> go up here. Oh, that's a water lake there, okay. And all the TNT, or the, all the uh, the lava actually got blown up. So there's a water source there, let's remove that. Maybe it's a lake of sorts. Let's see if we can remove this water. Yes. And it's getting night time, that's great. Gonna gonna have all the zombies come out. Brains. And I think there's another water source here. Yeah, let me just remove all of these and we can look at it. Maybe I'll go sleep as well. Um, where are they? And that should do it, I think. Look at this. It's beautiful. I'm trying to pick up all the drops. There you go. See? All the way down. What a beautiful way to cave, eh? And I think what we can actually do is, we can take, uh, where did I put my thing on my bobbers? Here we go. We can take this, hit F, go to equal trade, yes. Uh, put down one of these, set it, yes, good. And now I can turn on the hover. Did I not? Oh, did I? Oh, whenever you, you engage the, uh, the equal trade, I use that thing, the um, the jetpack gets turned off and it's a little bit disconcerting sometimes jumping out from things and just plummeting to your death. But I can now use, oh man it's so slow this hover mode. Okay, let's not use it right now. Here we go. So I can just right click on this, right? pick it up and see anything else we want. Just a little bit of, what's this, silver, copper maybe, oh I mean tin, got some silver there, got some lead, iron, got some more tin here, a little bit more iron, oh it's so peaceful, what a way to mine, 
doink. Ha <laughs> ha! Give me all your gold! I want all your gold! Yes, give me all your gold. Gold! I'm going to try and remove the glass from the top layer here of my spawning cube and put in some of this uh, tower wood planks instead. So let's see how that goes, if we're gonna have the skeletons spawn down there. Oh, are they going? Oh, they're going down the sides as well. Um, okay. See if we get any skeletons. Oh, we need to completely encapsulate it. Let's try and... Uh, can I like... We can do one at a time, yeah. So if I do like this... Yeah, you can hear when we get out of the range of the muffler. Everything gets really loud. Can I not... Oh, I don't have any more. Um, I can fix that. There we go. <laughs> I got so much of this. This is what the carbonite golems drop. You know, the ones that uh, we get when we got from the, the tower that drops iron. They also drop this. So, I just wanted to see if I make it dark in there. If that's going to help. The, uh, the spawning of the skeletons. I, I'm doing the edges here because then when I use the uh, whoa the right click like now it's not gonna take anything but the ah oh, dang it I shift right clicked uh, on the glass. There we go. It's not gonna jump to the other side or so to the bottom or whatnot. Need the back as well. I'm gonna do the rest, and we'll see what help if it helps. It's still just as bright in here, and I think it's because light is coming in through these holes where the uh, the power cable and the the fluid ducts are running. So I thought about maybe trying to build uh, a box around this, just temporarily, because I have stuff up here I want to access still, but. Just to see if that's going to do it, or if the light is coming from somewhere else. So, let's see. I know there's some blocks you can use that blocks out lights somehow. I don't know what they're called or how you use them. I haven't tried that yet. So, again, if you know, you can let me know in the comments. Oh, I keep falling down. Okay, and here we go. Am I? No, I'm not out. Okay. And, yeah, we're just going to cover this. I should have used the Builder's Wand for this. I always forget to bring it. I could put it in my thing, I guess, my backpack. But I don't build stuff that often, so. Okay, just completely enclose this. Probably going to have some mobs spawning in here, but this is for science. For science! One of the reasons why I don't use these is because they take forever to break. Okay, yeah, see it's much darker in here now. And if we do this uh, to the rest of the glass and then shut this, it should be pretty dark in there and we should have some skeletons maybe. No? Why no skeletons? Should be dark enough for them to spawn. Hmm. Oh, here we go. Yeah, it is. Ow, yeah, okay, okay, I get it. <laughs> so it's dark in there now. Uh, it's not a good solution, though. Hmm. I'm going to see for a while if it makes any difference. What I could also do is get some more spawners and put in there. Um, so... Let's reboot this guy so he starts hitting again. Uh, so we get more of the mob essence, which I can't see now because it's blocked. But yeah, uh, let's see. There was one last thing I wanted to do. Where was it? Uh, the tower is over here. I made another way out, which was closer here. This goes deeper down, by the way. Come on. Ow. Why is the oh it fell down when I when I ducked, that's right. Um 
people were right in that uh, the deeper you get in this dungeon, the more difficult it's gonna get. There's traps everywhere, and yeah, this everywhere. Okay, uh, there's a certain room I found I wanted to show you, but probably gonna take me a while to find it. So why don't I just cut till I do, if I do. Here we go. Look at this room up here. See? It's got obsidian, and obsidian and quartz. And look at what's in here in the middle. Enderman spawner. Right? Aha, let's get this home. Um, how do I get out again? I always get lost. Help. Anyone in here? Okay, let's see if we can get this guy in here. Uh, let's just let these dudes... I didn't de I did open the top here, even, to, uh, to stop this from happening. Ow, can I just... There? Yes. Okay, ow, okay, get out, get out. Do we have Enderman in there now? Are you gonna spawn Enderman? Enderman. Yeah, oh, I'm so stupid. I'm so stupid. Duh. There's water in here, Alex. That's not gonna work. Oh, boy. Yes, I can hear you laughing now. That's okay. I deserve it. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Okay, let's remove it again. There we go. And it ate my torches. Uh, yeah. That was really stupid. But it's a good idea to put another spawner in here, but... Not Enderman, Alex. That's, um... Yeah, that's, that's no good. No good. So, after some faffing, I got it working here. I just need to make a few more of these attack turtles. And hook them up to the uh, the killing thing down there. Oh, that got turned around. That was weird. Okay, I also found some mycelium. I'm just going to put that away. It's just good to have at some point, I guess. So, um, let's see. I put the Enderman spawner in here. So it's three blocks above the other spawner. So the other mobs still have a chance to spawn in there. And now we can just collect these slowly. And this also means that we get more of the uh, mob essence, which means I get more of the books enchanted all the time. So down here, what I want to do is <coughs> knock out some mob blocks here, put in two more of these turtles. So more of the mobs in here will be killed by the turtles and therefore more XP will end up over here. So I'm going to do that. Okay, I got two of them hooked up now. This is just what I did, put them next to each other with these uh, item ducts. So you need to have the item duct go red like this and provide them with a redstone signal. So whatever they kill something now, they're going to pull them out. But this one, we really need to, still need to uh, tell him to, to fight. So while true, do turtle dot attack. Uh, and so save, exit, reboot. There we go. That should do it. And he should not start attacking again. Or as well if stuff comes near him. So let's yeah, see his sword is going there. That means that these guys are killing more. And when these guys kill something, we get XP over here. And we still get a lot of stuff over here. Look at this. So much iron. So much crap as well, of course. But I can set up... Uh, oh, look at this sign. Sharpness knockback and fire aspect. That's got to be... Uh, uh, assist only and sign, right? Battle sign? I don't know. That's weird. One of them dropped it. A zombie pigman that dropped that. It's gotta be assist only and battle sign. But yeah, I think that's gonna be it for today, guys. Yeah, I still have a problem with my arrow here in my head. But um, I hope you have fun. I don't know how long this episode is gonna be. It's taking quite a while to record, but uh, we'll see. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. See you all next time. Bye!